Inevitably, when you purchase a 3D printer, one of the first things your friends and family say is, great, you're gonna be printing a bunch of useless plastic things that no one needs. Well, of course, there's going to be some amount of that, but today we're gonna to take a look at some of my favorite functional 3D prints that I've had over the past few months of owning my Prusa Mark III S. Let's dive in and take a look. This is actually, I think, the second print that we completed on my Prusa Mark III S. And this was for my son. He's a big art guy, and so we needed something to hold all of his pencils and pens. What better than a 3D wireframe skull? It would be fairly difficult to make with any other process other than 3D printing. I think this came out beautifully. Next up, we've got these modular drawers. Again, these I printed for my kids because they often have little knickknacks and things that they leave around their rooms. And so I wanted to make these little modular containers. Oh, this is evidently where my son stashes all of his candy bar wrappers. Hmm, better go check the others. The cool thing about these is they're shaped to be kind of like beehives. So each of these has interlocking pieces that can be stacked together so you can create modules of 6, 8, 10, 20, 50 of these, it doesn't matter. And you can also change obviously the color that you print them in to be more fun for your kids. My daughter has some purple ones. My son likes red and gray, so we stuck with that. Over Christmas, we purchased my son an easel and some acrylic paint and paint brushes so he could get started doing more canvases and more advanced art. As part of that, I 3D printed this acrylic paint holder for him. And this perfectly fits a standard acrylic paint tube. And uh, this gets him all of his colors in a nice, easy to use place. Along those same lines, my son obviously needs a place to hold his brushes. So I 3D printed this out that holds the brushes. It also has a place to put a couple different colors of paint and some water so you can rinse out your brushes as you're painting and hold your sponges and things like that. These are a more recent addition. I started 3D printing these maybe two weeks ago to mount on the walls to actually hold my filament for my 3D printer. I have several of these mounted to the wall and they each hold one spool of 3D printer filament. Next up, we've got a soap dish. This was one of my favorites that I found online. There's many different designs you can choose from, but this one seemed to be the nicest. It 3D prints a lotus flower on the front and it has a nice pattern on the top. And when this gets wet or fills up in the shower, it has this little drain spout. So it's drained at an angle and then it all comes right out of this spout onto the front and just kind of pours out. Some of my more recent 3D prints have had to do with home automation. I started updating all of the lights in the house to Philips Hue bulbs and also adding smart switches to most of the outlets. This is a plate cover that goes over your standard wall switch and then it allows you to put the Philips Hue dimmer switch right on top of it. Normally people would stick their Philips Hue dimmer switch next to their light switch, but the problem with that is somebody can still turn on and off the lights manually, kind of defeats the purpose of having smart lights. So I 3D printed these and stacked them right over the original switches. They mount nicely and they're very functional. Speaking of home automation, if you have a Google Home or an Echo Dot, this is a great addition. This simply snaps off you slide your power adapter in here. It has a nice area for you to wrap the cord around. And then it plugs right in here in this slot. You snap in your Echo Dot or your Google Home, place this nice cover on here, and you've got this nice finished product that can plug straight into the wall. It looks good, keeps the wires out of the way, so you don't have to worry about them. This one may be my most favorite recent print. It's actually a wine bottle aerator. What it does is it has this thin tube that goes all the way up the body of it. It has these two holes to create oxygen as the liquid is pouring out of it. And then this is my first multi-material print. This actually uses flexible TPU as sort of the gasket that goes inside of the wine bottle. So you can see this is a flexible material. It's almost like a thick rubber and it's printable in many different colors. Some people, there's a, other brands called Ninja Flex that you can use. And you've seen a couple videos maybe online. Somebody even created their own sneakers out of this stuff. So it's pretty versatile. And when you take this and fit it into a wine bottle, it fits perfectly, as you can see. And when you pour, it aerates 
the wine nicely as it should. Take a look at that. And with that, you get the perfect pour of wine, oxygenated every time. And finally, probably my favorite 3D print, this one's near and dear to me, is my orchid pots. These are the only ones out of this group here that I actually designed and printed myself. I spent a couple weeks going through using Fusion 360 to come up with a couple designs. These have a snap-on base, so you can see the water tray actually snaps on. Some of my first designs had a screw-on base, but that got a little too... It was kind of unnecessary. So I went with this design as the final design. Well, I say final, but I'll probably do 25 more designs. It's just how I am. And it is highly functional. This orchid was almost dead when I planted it in this new pot. Since then, in the last few weeks, it has sprouted in two new leaves. It's doing beautifully, and for the first time ever, today it rebloomed. The reason for that is simple. Orchids need light and oxygen around the roots. This allows light to penetrate this porous material on the outside. It also allows oxygen to freely flow around the roots. Because orchids grow in the crevices of trees in the wild, they're not meant to be cooped up in some watertight container or sealed away. This also helps them stay nice and damp, which is exactly what they want. This is my favorite 3D print so far because it's something I created myself and it actually has a real purpose. It's been helping all my orchids bloom and grow more. And now this one, all right, not so functional or useful, but I'm in the middle of printing my very own Tesla Cybertruck. Why? Why not? Why wouldn't you print a Cybertruck? I don't wanna wait two years to get one. Let's print one now. I want it now. It's a work in progress. We've had some, you know, it's, it's one of those things. Making cars is hard, and I've run into some manufacturing problems along the way, so it might be delayed for a couple more weeks. I don't know. Stay tuned for that one. And of course, I'll drop links to all of these creations down in the description below. A big shout out goes to all of the 3D creators out there and their willingness to share all of these cool creations with us as a community of kind of DIY people. Without this community and without the sharing of knowledge and resources and these 3D models, we wouldn't be able to expand the area of 3D printing as rapidly as we have. And that's really exciting to me. So be sure to give credit to all of these people and share your 3D prints. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite functional 3D prints are or just something cool that you've 3D printed recently. I'd love to take a look at them and share with the community as well. Thanks guys. Happy 3D printing. Seriously, look at how satisfying this is. Look at the bubbles. I love bubbles.